Hey everyone, Tim here with Northwest Registered Agent. I'm joined with Cameron today. Cameron, thank you for joining me. Yeah, thank you for having me. Today we are going to be talking about turning your LLC into a nonprofit. We'll talk about what steps you need to take to make this change. So Cameron, I received a question from a client. They are wanting to turn their LLC into a nonprofit. What should I tell them? Yeah, that's a great question. So nonprofit corporations have a lot stricter business requirements than for-profit companies. So they won't be able to convert from an LLC to a nonprofit. However, they can start a new nonprofit and transfer over their assets. Um, as far as assets go though, they will want to talk to a business attorney or a CPA to make sure that gets taken care of properly. Great idea. Now, when it comes to actually forming the nonprofit corporation, where would they start? Yeah, so uh, first they're gonna to want to start with a name. And then from there, appoint a registered agent and gather the correct state formation paperwork. Uh, the state paperwork should have um, nonprofit and IRS specific verbiage in it to make sure everything goes smoothly. Then from there, they'll just pay the state filing fee and be on their way. However, Northwest Registered Agent can help with this. So once they've formed their nonprofit corporation, what should they do next? Yeah, so the first couple of things they're going to want to do are regular business things. So obtaining an EIN for their business and obtaining the correct permits and licenses for their business. Um, from there, what's more nonprofit specific would be creating your nonprofit bylaws, uh, applying to the charities division in your state if applicable, and then applying for that tax exempt status with the IRS. Gotcha. Okay. And, and how exactly would they go about applying for that tax exempt status? Yeah. So once they know they've met the exemption requirements made by the IRS, they will want to file their 501c3 using form 1023 with the IRS. Okay. Perfect. Thank you so much. So today we learned that nonprofits have stricter requirements than for-profit companies. So you will need to form a new nonprofit corporation, but you can transfer over the assets from your LLC. We also learned that when forming a nonprofit, your articles of incorporation will have to include special language and provisions required by the IRS, but the state should have that paperwork available. Finally, we learned that once your nonprofit is formed, you will need to make sure your business meets IRS exemption requirements and then apply for 501c3 status using Form 1023. Thank you so much for being with me here today, Cameron, and answering all of my questions. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. State paperwork is hard. We can help. If you found this video helpful, give it a like. We've included links in the description below to what we talked about today. We've also included two other videos that you may find useful. You need tools to build something big. Subscribe now.